everybody, this is Perch, and uh, we're going through Marvel's uh, solicitations for the month of April. We're going to talk more about that because uh, these are hitting a little early, so I, I kind of want to talk about what some of this may mean. It's a more serious video for another time. Last time I did this, I did uh, DC first and then Marvel, and I was just so blown out by uh, so many comics that it was just... Uh, so exhausted uh, that Marvel got pretty salty. So we're trading it up a little bit. We're going the other direction. This way DC can can get the you know the the sarcasm here. But uh, let's go. We're starting right off with the VR Ghost Rider, uh, which looks like the Donnie Ketch version. Donnie Ketch. <laughs> All right. Can we put Donnie Cates on Danny Ketch? That seems like a, a way to confuse me, at least. But uh, but anyway. Oh no. Maybe this is. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Riot, who knows? Anyway, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll find out. So, okay, so Planet of the Apes um, and uh, Salvador LaRuca is uh, not the artist, but is doing the cover. He seems to do a lot of these, uh, like these books, the Aliens, Star Wars. Uh, I don't know if that's his, his uh, sweet spot. Anyway, which Planet of the Apes? Is this uh, the original? Is this kind of the new one? Uh, anyway, Planet of the Apes, uh, we are expecting, Marvel is announcing we're going to do something like this. Oh, okay. Here's some, here's some monkey action. I think that, you know, nothing wrong with monkeys. They're going to be fun. But, um, I also think that, that, uh, Marvel, when I've talked to editors, like everybody loves monkeys. Monkeys are, I, I mean, you put apes in it, it makes it great. Um, that, I mean, maybe I, <laughs> I mean, it's not a terrible idea, but, I don't think uh, people are in love with it as uh, you think, and I, I think this comic will wind up proving that out. All right, brand new Guardians of the Galaxy. Finally, it looks like we're back to an ongoing series. Colin Kelly, Jackson Lansing. They're the uh, Captain America team. Kev Walker on art. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy destroyed one years ago, betrayed by one of their own. Oh, we're doing another... Uh, some shit went down, and uh, we don't know what it is. So, okay. Um the, uh, the, can they rediscover their heroism and forgive the failures of their past? Uh, well, I mean, maybe. Mantis is looking uh, looking cute there, but uh, anyway, okay. Nebula, uh, fine. Looks like we're ditching Groot and uh, Rocket. Uh, nope, sorry, Rocket Raccoon Marvel Tales number one. This is a reprint here, so we won't spend too much time about that. But it's a pretty awesome uh, cover there. It's Art Adams. Uh, no, no, sorry, Nick Bradshaw. What am I thinking? This is Michael Mignola inside. If you have Michael Mignola doing the interior art, you have Michael Mignola on the cover. I'm just saying. All right. Adam Warlock, Strange Tales, Facimile. We're starting right off with a bunch of uh, reprints, which kind of leads into this other video I need to do. Uh, but here's Warlock Rebirth. This is the Rons again. Uh, Mars and Lim. Jim Chung. Uh, really nice cover. It's a great Warlock. Uh, so nice to see the, uh, the Rons back after that uh, Silver Surfer. Uh, comic that's pretty good so uh very good I, I like ron Lim's thanos i know it's uh it's an old school kind of version of that but his uh his thanos remains one of my favorites of of everything guardians of the galaxy bane of blastar okay ralph macchio all right this is uh, clearly says number one it doesn't say this is a five issue series i'm assuming or maybe just a single thing i, I don't know is blastar showing up in the new guardians movie this feels like uh, this feels like that anyway that that we've got to do a movie tie-in. Brand new Alien number one, Declan Shavley uh, is writing. That's 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 cool. That's different. Um, okay, Alien under ice. Well, you know you're not supposed to walk on ice. It's cracking anyway. So really, it's your own fault. All right, Sins of Sinister, which is uh, getting disappointing orders from what I understand. Uh, Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants number three. Al Ewing, this is, uh, are we, are we getting a big thing with Storm yet? We said we were getting, uh, this is going to be the year of Storm and they made her uh, regent of Mars, which was, uh, nobody, nobody really gave a shit about that. So, uh, Sins of Sinister Dominion, number one, I think this is the conclusion. I think, uh, thousand years, you know, can they change the president? Present will have to live with the future sins. All right. Sinisters uh, up to up to so oh hey well, there's a giant apocalypse this must be a trading card cover is that what that is this is a this is a cover yeah yeah this is the Alex Ross uh, trade from this is an older piece of art it's cool though okay uh, nothing wrong with that okay uh, immoral X Men three of three Kieran Gillen um, who's definitely his the bubble is bursting fast on uh, this idea that that he was the the new Hickman anyway. Um, year 10, or no, we're at year 100. Uh, no, year 1,000. Sorry, you can just keep reading and reading. All right, uh, everything is in hell, including Sinister. 
Okay. Uh, getting around to some of these uh, Chimera mutants from uh, the Hawksbox series. Nightcrawler, 303, Cy Spurrier. Okay, that's Mother Panic, I believe, right? No, Mother Righteous. All right, Galaxy Burn, System in Place. Doing this too early. Uh, okay, Avengers Assemble Omega. This is the final, final, final for sure's issue by Jason Aaron. Uh, Aaron Cooter uh, did a good job during this series. I'm not, I haven't always been the biggest fan of, of Cooter, but uh, that's a... It's so going to be bad for your neck to lay that way. Just just point that out. Anyways, finally, we're wrapping it all up. It's oh, a great Alex Ross cover. All right, so here we go. Like how even here, uh, Nemor is looking like, ah, whatever. They are subtly, slowly changing his appearance, though. It is it is weird. The movie influence uh, just comes for us all. Anyway, the big oversized finale, the most epic battle in the history of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. All right, sure. Cavalcade of artists. What artists do we have? Javier, Aaron. And, okay, they're not including the artist that uh, Aaron's Avengers uh, series launched with, but that's that's uh, that's on brand. Avengers War Across Time, number four or five. Absolutely the best Avengers book you've got right now. Uh, Levetz and Alan Davis, the dwarves of Mjolnir and the Lava Men uh, are ready to erupt from the earth. This has been just a one issue in. I mean, it's just an absolutely great series. Uh, Avengers Beyond, number five. This is uh, spinning up from uh, All Out Avengers or All Action Avengers. Derek Landy, Greg Land, uh, The Wasps, been stabbing some people, apparently. Uh, no, that's <laughs> that's Luke Cage, unless I miss my guess. Mayor Luke Cage to you, sir. Uh, anyway, the Beyonder is, uh, is, is, uh, is around the answer that I appreciate this. I, you know, the solicitations are always terrible, the text, uh, but I do give credit for this one. Join us for a story, nonstop action, realist adventure. How much punching is too much punching? The answer may surprise you, but it, but it probably won't. Yeah, it's okay. Fair enough. Uh, Hellcat 205, Chris or Catwell finally getting around to do the comic you want to do in the first place. Okay. What's, what's she up to? Uh, she's murdering her, who knew her, her new love and sleepwalker is there. Okay. Cosmic Ghost Rider number two by Stephanie Phillips. There are now two Cosmic Ghost Riders. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, <laughs> nope. Doctor Strange number two, Jed McKay, Pascal Ferry. I, I, I am loving Pascal Ferry. Um, he's doing that Namor Conquered Shores book, and uh, people are shitting on that art, and I, I do not get it. I think he's great. I think he'll be uh, wonderful for for Doctor Strange. He's just, he's got the, this is, I mean, that's a, that's a great cover right there, but um, all right, we're attacking. It's Nightmare. Oh, it's issue two, so we got to do something with Nightmare. Or why not? Um, the answer will shock you. Uh, I am Iron Man, 205. Uh, all right, I, we're going through Iron Man's history. Can't we just do the, uh, I, I don't know, the grand design Iron Man? It seems like a good idea. All right. All right, Spider-Man, spider Gwen, Shadow Clones. Nope, nope. Uh, no, no, <laughs> that just keeps scrolling down. No, no, not, no, not, no, no. <laughs> All right. Venom Lethal Protector, number two of five. McElhaney, uh doing this. All right. Getting a, a kind of a silver sable. More stories set in the past. A lot, more and more. It's it's a ramping uh, up uh, strategy. Hallow's Eve, number two of five. So we got to shoot this character into a, uh, a, a mini series right away. All right, fine, fair enough. Um, Red Goblin number three. Okay, what do we got for Red Goblin? We got uh, so okay, so we got Hallow's Eve. We got a lot of Spider-Man spinoff books. This is becoming the Batman problem uh, here. This is the kid who's got a symbiote, and here's the regular series, Amazing Spider-Man's uh, Wells, John Romita Jr. back on art. Well, at least there's that. Um, okay, the centerpiece set a. Uh, Flat out fight. So what did Spider-Man do? Well, we're going to find out. Apparently, he uh, tried to steal something for the Baxter building, I'm guessing. Anyway, that's a cool cover. I like that. Chris Bacolo looks great. Um, that, that angular Spider-Man always, it works for me. Now, he's he's leaned into his style more and more. I predict, by the way, in about two, three years, uh, newer people who are who pretty much just been reading comics via YouTube are going to just start crapping all over his guy. He's going to get the uh, the Riley Rosmo treatment. Um because this, this this really stylized stuff. Just anyway, um, all right. Number twenty four. What brought Peter and Norman together? Um, this is going to blur what makes a hero. Okay, so he's making a tech suit to do some something he shouldn't do. I don't, anyway, 
Ooh, he's got some spider knucks. Fine. Uh, Mary Jane and Black Cat. Who has the dump trunk uh, ass? Uh, well, we'll find out in this comic. Jed McKay is, uh, what secrets will be revealed? Will they recover once the secrets are revealed? This is uh, Mary Jane's secret to her powers. And her powers are most likely some technology, which maybe has something to do with this up here, but we'll see. Anyway, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number five, Cody Ziegler. Okay. This has been a pretty decent series. I, I, the, the restart is okay. Um, not, not too bad. Nufo Rabble. Okay, we'll learn all about Rabble. Oh, there's some classified stuff. Stolen powers of classified. Okay. Carnage, number 12. Uh, okay, so we've uh, pushed the boundaries of Carnage itself. He looks pregnant here, kind of a little bit nuts his knee. I don't want to get started with that again. Anyway, Carnage doing stuff. This is heading to the, uh, what, the summer of symbiote Carnage, uh, the mini series we're going to get. If you think there's a lot of Spider-Man now, just wait till we get to, you know, through August. He'll be drowning in it. Venom number uh, 18, Dylan Brock builds an army. And uh, Eddie Brock is uh, more alone than ever before. Okay. Be good if we got back to Eddie Brock more. I Nothing wrong with the sun, but anyway. All right, Spider-Man number seven, Dan Slott. Uh, this is the other Spider-Man series that nobody is talking about. Sorry, sorry. This is uh, Hornet is... <laughs> ah, ah, Tubby Ock. He looks happy, though. He's, he's cheerful. He's been eating too much, but yeah, he's, having, he's living his best life. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Dan Slott's uh, Spider-Verse opus, but uh, nobody seems to really care. And here's Marvel's Voices Spider-Verse. So now we're doing Marvel's Voices uh, specifically for the Spider-Verse characters. This is what happens when you have infinite spider characters. You can actually do a Marvel Voices title with the variants of the spider characters. Because you have uh, all the different uh, races, genders, and uh, identities here represented in all the different spiders. And then you can do a voices. This is the jump the shark moment at this point for voices, right? If they didn't already. I mean, I, I it, you know, it's, it, was, it was designed to kind of to shine a light on some characters that, that you know, didn't get a lot of page time. And that's, that's not a bad idea. Um, and then it turned into kind of a very confusing mess of anthology stories. And then it turned into, hey, let's teach you how to make empanadas, which is a, a very bizarre uh, way to honor that culture. And now we're honoring the Spider-Verse. Okay. Can't help but notice Spider-Punk uh, is packing down there. I just, just It looks to me. All right. Stephanie Phillips, Rogue and Gambit number two. A lot of people are... Uh, pretty, oh, she just... She, pop an old black panther right in the head he gets no respect no, <laughs> I, black panther is uh, slowly turning into uh, marvel's rodney dangerfield anyway um okay i there, a lot of people are suspecting that this series is going to conclude with the two of them broken up but uh, i say it's going to conclude with the two of them in a thruple with uh oh i don't know colossus why not Anyway, Betsy Braddock, uh, Captain Britain, Teeny Howard. This is a five-issue series, and uh, we're doing this. So, okay. What, what Morgan Le Fay is in power, and uh, the Federated Federal is a Captain Britain we deserve, sure. Um, Bishop War College, number three of five. This comic was announced a while ago, and it is just... It feels like it's been going forever, and, uh, you know... you. It, I mean, I mean, it could be good, but Lord, I think this, this comic was w way early announced and now it's April and we're on issue three. Um, but, but fine enough, a uh, new mutants, lethal legion. Okay. Charlie Jane Anders. This is a five issue series and this is, uh, uh, you know, count nefarious recruiting and, uh, we've got, you know, some stuff here. Sure. This is a sort of an homage cover, I guess. Okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, the Excellent 205. This is another one that was announced well over a year ago. But uh, but anyway, all right, the Ecstatics uh, series. I, I enjoyed this comic. I'm not sure. feels like the moment has passed a bit, but uh, but okay, we'll see. X-Force 39. Are we still dealing with the Beast uh, screwing this up? Oh, no, it's a new era for X-Force, new members. Laura Kinney, a.k.a. Wolverine. See, even Marvel's, uh, like Marvel's not... <laughs> They know. Uh, and Colossus joined the team. Let's just hope one of them isn't uh, harboring a secret. It's Colossus. Uh, he's got something going on in there. It's a, it's a thruple with uh, Rogan Gambit is what it is. Okay, here's our new team apparently. Colossus, Deadpool, Domino, Laura Kinney, Omega Red. Uh, this comic is uh, going to get canceled rebooted soon. I'm just, just, just 
point that out there. Uh, Wolverine, number 32. There can be only one. Well, that's not what Marvel says, unless they're talking about Laura. But anyway, um, Beast's last-ditch effort to save mutant um, leads to a clone saga for Logan. Well, thank Christ for getting that. Okay. Sure. Wolverine killed lots of versions for himself. Uh, X-23, Deadly Regenesis. Uh, this is set in the past, so this is from the uh, her defining era, which is why they're not uh, you know, uh, going on and on about calling her Wolverine here. Uh, this is a Deadpoolish clone by the look of it. X-Men 21, Jerry Duggan is still on this title, and he is looking... Oh, we're still on the brood, too. Uh, why have the brood gone man? Well, because... Uh, why Why are they impregnating Cyclops' father? Anyway, uh, past deeds coming back to haunt them. All right. Yeah, we kind of... The, the brood... I mean, you've got Alien now. You've got that license, Disney. You can you can just stop, stop pretending with this shit. Yeah, anyway, well, there's Moira, you know, Cyborg Moira coming out of the grave. Okay. Um, maybe is this, is this going to be in the comic? I'm going to guess no. Captain Marvel 48. Uh, this is the other part of the brood storyline. Captain brood finally have what they want. Captain Marvel in their clutches. Um, uh, okay. Last time new powers erupted from within her. Will there be a new, new, new last time? We'll, we'll see. Uh, X-Men Facsimile edition, getting a lot more of those. Here's the uh, Jim Lee uh, 1991 version Facsimile edition. Miracle Man, Marvel Tales. Okay, this is uh, also you know brand new cover, bunch of different um, Alan Davis, great Alan Davis cover, a um, bunch of reprinted stories here. Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty number 11. Um, okay, Bucky Barnes has a cat now, so he is uh, definitely evil. And he is, uh, he's, bas he's basically playing the outer circle game. Um, so they're trying to uh, rest. It's, it's, it's the critical point in Steve's understanding of friendship. Okay. Um, Captain America Cold War Alpha. So this is uh, another summer event. And this is uh, spinning out of Bucky Barnes joining the uh, New Revolution. And uh, he is, uh, he's formed an alliance with White Wolf. And we're getting, uh, this is the big Captain America crossover that brings everybody together. Okay. Why do we need an event for this? Can't they just have the titles going? Okay. We're bringing back Dimension Z. So that, that sounds like fun. A uh, little nod to Rick. Rick Remender's been gone enough. You can acknowledge he was there, Marvel. So that that's nice. Uh, Captain America, Symbol of Truth, number 12. Uh, so this is, you know, this is a Cold War. Yeah, part two. Yep. And uh, they are basically up in Alaska and we're going to fight Bucky and Bucky's got a man bun and a cat. So, I mean, he's turned, I mean, this is, this is unforgivable. So you, you definitely should uh, murder him again. Uh, where's, where's Zemo in a bomb when you need it? All right. Captain America, unforgiven Tim Seeley. Uh, this is, uh, that, that vampire storyline that, uh, we're getting a bunch of, of number ones that, you know, this is the other way to have an event. I mean, why not? Uh, silver surfer, ghost light, number three of five. Okay, caught in the crossfire, and, and we'll see what happens. Is this one of those cases where Marvel's going to, this series will end, and then Marvel will be like, the hot new character everyone is talking about, Ghostlight, and then we get a, a mini series that doesn't sell. Don't know. Anyway, Clobbered Time, number two, Skeet Karosh. Uh, I'll always love him. Oh, this is this does not look good. This is, this is <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> you got to hand it to Steve. He, he, he can draw uh, new things that are unsettling in new ways. And this is, <laughs> this is a hell of a thing here. Okay. Yikes. Uh, Fantastic Four, number six, Brian North. Uh, if they, they've been restored to their correct dimension orientation. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh fantastic for uh you know pull off a big stunt dr octopus is in this one and and he's going to uh fight the fantastic four at some point so they say this is like <laughs> dude who took my car uh, sue's all pissed and just taken off what's alex ross thinking when he does this one it's like you know what <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys, I'm going home. Anyway, Wasp number four of four. I why okay, the Ant Man and the Wasp series both did four issues instead of five just for, for funsies, I guess. Uh I don't know. Maybe because the movie's coming out, they figure they could sell the trade off four issues and they don't need all the paper page. I I don't know. Anyway. This is a uh, secret white supremacy symbol. So I'm I'm disappointed in uh in Al Ewing and uh, Tom Riley. 
Very disappointed. Um, <clears throat> Bloodline Daughter of Blade, uh, number three of five. Danny Lore uh, bringing this one. Two blades are better than one. Disagree, but uh, we'll see what happens. Scarlet Witch, number four. Uh, Steve Orlando. Now they've got Scarlet Witch in the Avengers. This kind of screws this title a little bit. I wonder, uh, will, will Steve Orlando, how many years? I, I'm predicting by October, November, Orlando's online uh, bitching about how Marvel fucked him over. That's that's my prediction. Deadpool number six, uh, Alyssa Wong on this. Uh, Javier Pina, love is in the air as Deadpool and his new romance, Valentine, go out on the town and uh, make pots. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number five, uh, Emma Frost, and uh, is she's going to help with uh, his new foe, Philong. Philong is an X-Men villain from Duggan's Run. Okay, it's a, they're sad ass. Um, but anyway, uh, this is leading to a diff- another, another, another event. Uh, I think the Fall of the Mutants either incorporates Iron Man or there's another X-Men event with Iron Man or crossover or something or other. She-Hulk number 12, Rainbow Rowell, uh, her landmark 175th issue, or number 12. Anyway, uh, and her new villain, Scoundrel. Okay. That's a that's a hell of a good cover, I'm just, I, and in this case, it's not what you think, pervs. But actually, the coloring on this is doing a really good job with the the highlights and and this difference between the skin tone and the costume. It's uh, this this is this is well done. Hulk number twelve, Otley and Otley, uh, as we are slowly. Um, well, no, not slowly. This is it. This is uh, the Hulk Planet finale, and maybe the finale of the title. I think it's this is the last issue, or maybe it's another one. I, anyway, uh, what's what's going to happen on Hulk Planet? I don't know. They're going to Marvel's going to just quietly try and walk away from this series. And the finale of Photon number five. Is this the end for Monica Rambeau? Probably not. Um, Okay, she's the only way out is by doing the one thing she wants to do least: look inward. Really? I mean, I okay. I mean, the, her her Avengers run kind of had her doing a lot of that, but fair fair enough. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number five. Uh, getting you know getting this thing to a conclusion just in time for the cartoon to come out. Um, all right, she's happy. Thor number thirty three. Uh, all roads lead to doom. Uh, Doctor Doom hunts for Boar's weapon, and uh, you know Thor's getting his ass kicked. That sounds good. Nice. All right. Aw, Loki drew a smile. Uh, Punisher number eleven. I think one more issue. I thought that was a twelve issue series, but now maybe they've dropped the twelve and we're just going, going through. Anyway, he is a uh, high slayer of the hand, and he's going up against Marvel Universe. In this case, Captain America. This is new powers. Uh, they've had, frankly, pretty, pretty uh, all powerful. Joe Fixit, number four or five. Peter David uh, is on this and uh, facing off against the Sinister Six, or at least a couple of villains from it. Uh, Moon Knight, number twenty-two. Chad McKay. A lot of people love this series. I, I, I it's okay. I, I don't get the over-the-top uh, love for Moon Knight. I, I just that's a nice cover there. Been, he's also he's also living his best life. He's happy. In the Marvel Universe, characters eat and are happy about it. Uh, Ghost Rider number 13, Ben Percy. Uh, another Ghost Rider's on the loose. In this case, this is the uh, Danny uh, catch to blame, or maybe there's a, another one, a VR one. I don't know. Daredevil number 10, a turning point. Uh, okay. he's uh, well, He's been doing some shit here. All right. Uh, he's found himself more isolated, fewer allies. Uh, that's what's going on right now. The Punisher, Daredevil, everybody's isolated. Wolverine's got clones of himself. He's fighting. Okay. Predator number two, they relaunched it uh, and then kept kind of a lot of the same characters and things going on. But in this case, they meet the X-Men. No, no, they just, just happen to have similar costumes, I'm, I'm guessing. But uh, but anyway, back on Revenge. Oh, Christ, we have to go through the Star Wars ones. All right, so Star Wars, Darth Vader, black, white, and red. Oh, gee. <laughs> what? Uh, why are we doing that gimmick everywhere? High Republic number eight. There has to be some deal where uh, Marvel has to publish so many Spider-Man comics. Okay, here's Hidden Empire. They're not selling terribly well. They're not. I mean, we've. we've I. I know the. <laughs> I know some of the people involved in this very very well. It's not selling very well, but they're just they're just continuing to just vomit out these books. There's tons. Here's uh here's Yoda. Here's Sana Staros. Number three, here's uh, Return of the Jedi Ewoks. Number, you're doing an Ewoks book. That's <laughs> goddamn. That's haunting. All right. Um, 
what else we got here? Bounty Hunters, number 33. I mean, there's some good stories in here, but but come on, even the most uh, hardened Star Wars, this is not hating on Disney, this isn't hating on Star Wars. There's just too many, so many books. Dr. Aphra, 31. <laughs> All right. When they're asked to ask, the surprises will happen. Uh, Star Wars, this is the regular comic, or 33? Yeah, that's right, because they rebooted it. Uh, we're doing that. Well, that's not going to be good for your lightsaber. Um, here's Darth Vader, number 33. Not to be confused with Darth Vader, red, white, and black. And uh, that is that is it. So how many comics do we have? Uh, a lot. I'm not going to count them this time. It's it's easily over 80. So, uh, so what are you buying here? Let me know in the comments below. Got to save some of this commentary for DC coming up. But uh, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Thanks for listening.